Dude, I'm about to review Transformers. The only thing that's going to assist in this recording is the bottom of the book. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi and welcome to Geekology, I'm David I'm Sven. and tonight we're going to be reviewing Transformers 3A Deluxe Action Figures. Yes. Since, since when do we call them action figures? What? Did, did I miss a briefing? Was there a thing? Well they're not statues, they're posable. Hasbro, to the best of my knowledge, have never referred to their toy line as being it's not Hasbro. action figures. There's a Hasbro logo on it. Licensed by Hasbro. But not Hasbro. Mm -hmm. You're getting me on the technicality. Of course I am. I always do. <laughs> do I not? Hang on, hang on. Well, no, hang on. Go back a bit. Wait, miss, these, miss, 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 yeah, miss, hang, hang on. on. These are not statues. No. That's a weird statement for you to make. Action figures that aren't statues. What am I missing? They don't I'm... transform. <laughs> we don't transformers that don't transform. I thought you you have very strong opinions about transformers that don't transform. These aren't yours. <laughs> right, okay. Which viewer am I thanking for sending these in for us to review? My brother. <laughs> oh Stefan! Hi! Dude! Dude, you have some really nice toys. Stop letting your brother play with them. <laughs> well, the good thing about Stefan as well is the fact he's a massive Doctor Who fan. Oh, <laughs> dude, no! God, he's bad enough. Like that. He's curating a list of things that you, we need to watch along with the new series, um, <sighs> specifically for you. Is it something about the Harvey family that just go, let's see how hard we come. Fuck day. <laughs> yeah. Is, is it like a spy? Do you brothers just sit around and go, hmm. <laughs> is this like Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Is yeah. it like the council of, uh, yeah. Oh, God. I haven't seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine yet. You've not seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Mind you, I couldn't get you to watch The Good Place, so... B Brooklyn Nine-Nine is probably more your humour than The Good Place, but I would still like you to see The Good Place, just because I think you'd love some it, of the... It'll be a reaction scene. We'll see how reactions go and see if it's... Ah, oh, I tell you what. In general. It'd be awesome if we could get them to agree to mm. it. They do a really good podcast, so they might. You never know. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Netflix owned the secondary distribution rights. Uh, we'll have to say. Anyway, so, Transformers. Things that empty bank balances. Let's get these two off the table. Take them off the table. Let's. Hang on. No, 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 no. We're doing the Prime first. Doing the Prime first. It's a Bumblebee movie. We're doing the Prime first because this is probably going to be the one I like. Okay. So let's leave that on to last so I can enjoy it. Right, so these are from the... Bu I liked the Bumblebee film. The Bumblebee film was awesome. Look out for the reaction to that at some point when I get round to oh, editing it. Dude, who did the artwork? No idea. Oh, Someone at, um... that is ugly as hell. Oh, man. I mean, from the back. Yeah, okay. The side shot's okay. Swing door open. Okay, so I'll, I'll let our viewers see it before I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, the tech thing on the side is horrible. Okay, so we've got what actually feels like nice quality packaging. Is that magnetic hinge or is it? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We've got one. We've got two little. Yeah, they're yeah. probably neodymium. We've got two magnets on the thing. Like. Oh, they've gone for corrugated card. Mm -hmm. Okay, they went for corrugated card. We've got a hologram sticker underneath saying 3A to prove the authenticity of it. And it is a custom hologram sticker, licensed by Hasbro. It's got all the things right. Since I want to see Stefan beat you up, you can open the box. <laughs> Stefan is a git who has cost me money because after reviewing some of his toys I've had to go out and get my own. <laughs> right, so let's do the paperwork. Oh, um, so for, for the rest of the box, it's it's a box. 
Um, as I'm getting to really in depth in doing my reviews on this. Okay, so we've got a warning sheet, and the warning sheet is in English and Japanese. I'm assuming that is Japanese. Mm, probably Chinese, actually. Okay. Something there from Hong Kong. Translation form. Warning. Uh, okay, nothing there to worry about. I think it's Mandarin. Okay, there's some bits there that Sven needs to know about. Whilst I have a look at this bad boy. So, so we've got clamshell packaging with divots to hold in place, which is nice because cutting sellotape is really boring and always leaves a sticky residue. So I'll give them their due. They know how to design the packaging. Ooh. Okay, so I know why this is called a deluxe figure. Okay, so we have got... Dude, the paint job for this is insane! <gasps> you see the articulation in the knees? Yep. Oh, and the thigh! Okay, Sven will do lots and lots of really nice pictures for the boys and girls at home to look at. Oh, that is so intricate. I really love the shoulder. Have you seen how they've done this? Yep. I've actually did a quick unboxing of this when it first arrived oh. for my channel. Oh, see, I saw you were doing an unboxing. I thought it was your Pornhub, so I didn't tune in. Wrong kind of box, dude. Um. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't have to worry about making them into trucks. Yeah. This is beautiful. I mean... Oh. <laughs> it's meant to do that. Just as well, really. I, I know he's going to slow down the video footage as I accidentally unscrew Prime's head and then brick it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that would have been a whole mm. blooper in and of itself. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to actually purposely now take that off. Right, so, for for anybody out there who, who just saw the look of horror on my face, um, the, the face and the helm are incredibly well done. His eyes are blue, proper blue and show up nicely but the reason why I specifically just took the head off was because when I was moving it around I noticed some things in the neck and I wanted to get a better view so the neck is on a ball but it's got an articulation point there for the armour huh wow that must have been bitch to make You're going to have to take some photos of that, because that is... So you not only have... I don't know what that was. So you not only have the head that can turn around because it's on a, a, a ball socket as well, but his neck with armour plate, front, back and sides that are... Well, OK, the back is part, but the front is an attachment piece, as is the size, is a separate ball in and of itself. You've got a multi-point on the arm. This is this is a quality figure. Right, that back plate from his ass. Um, Sven, why, why does he have a, a separate ass plate? I don't know. Are, are, really are you sure? Because I suspect I know why he has a separate ass plate. He said that they can sell them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that, that, that's a lot cleaner than the reason I was coming up for it. Okay, so Sven, 
incredible articulation in the ankles and feet. Multi articulation in the knees. Decent omnidirectional for the weight, uh, for the uh, hip. Nothing at the waist. The the shoulder is is really beautifully well done. How they've done that, that is just fantastic. I'm really impressed with the head and neck. Yeah, does the chest panel come off? Is there a thing behind it? I do because the, those bits there move, so I don't want to. So because he does not transform. Mm. Oh, oh, and shoulder movement. Okay, you can you can just take that bit off. That's that's why it moves. You can take it okay. off and you can put it back on. Perfect. He says, being a little bit concerned about how he does that, but yes, he <laughs> does. Can. Um, I always worry when it's other people's toys. <clears throat> yes. Um, there is a waist movement, but you have to move. Why? Why have a clip that comes out that's got a bullet? I mean, oh, I suppose so you could have it in separate hands so you could see him yeah. physically load the gun. Really weird to see a, a gun that uses bullets rather than energy. I th don't they only have energy weapons? Depends on which version of Transformers you're watching. Um, in the in Bumblebee, this, in film. Bumblebee film, they seem to only have energy weapons, and then they had missiles, and then they had this. Yeah. And the other. Okay. So it, it's it's a mixture. Originally, there were supposed to be all sorts of type of weapons. Okay. Right. Well, the gun's nice. Their their hands are well. Okay, I'm disappointed by the hands. Hmm. Purely, uh, don't get me wrong. They've got a whole selection here of really nice shapes. Yeah. But, considering the level of articulation in everything else, I'd have just thought that you'd done two articulated hands, rather yeah. than you having posed hands. It must have been really expensive to... Yeah, this, get me this is absolutely stunning. This is a gorgeous figure. Yep. Came as a bit of a shock to me when I first opened it. So the other two I haven't opened yet. I'm going to guess that your only problem with this is it doesn't transform. Pretty much. But if you know that going into it, is yeah. that necessarily a bad thing? If no. you just want something impressive for your cabinet. Oh, this is stunning. Okay, um, let's pop this to one side. Let's open up the bumblebee and see what, see what the bang for the buck is there, shall we? Um, I'm actually going to move him off camera. Or actually, I might just move him so he stops. I'm not 100% sure if his head's in the shoulder. Oh, that's it. Yeah, third one. Yeah, it's fine. Mm. So we've got a smaller box here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, you're going to do Remember, we, do, we actually are meant to review. <laughs> so, we have nicer artwork on this one. We have the stylized movie version of Bumblebee. We have... Oh, they've done them in scale size-wise, that's yep. nice. Okay, um, yeah, so there we go, Sven. Nice that they've done them in scale. Yep. I'm surprised by that because we've had a whole bunch of... Well, just not. Yeah, it's usually not. <laughs> So we have different attachments. With the Prime, we have multiple hands and a gun. With Bumblebee, we've got two doors, two side mirrors, what looks like an energy weapon. We have the alternative faceplate, and we only have four hands, rather than the, the Prime that came. Was that six or was? So we had six as a pair and a one as a yeah. separate. Hands, so seven hands in total. This one, well, plus the ones that were already, already on, already on, oh, already on. Okay, so. And they do have lights of eyes, but um, that, that would explain why the eyes on there were, yeah, okay. What's the trick for getting the eyes to light up? We put batteries in, oh, wow, well, yeah, that would be <laughs> they are nicely heavy. I, I, I didn't, I should have commented about it on the point. Okay, he's heavier, he's uh, no, for the, the size. size, yeah. It's denser, so you Ooh! And I know where all the weight is. It's in the foot. Nice articulation in the feet. Oh, look at that. 
for the... Yeah. Ah, that's nice. And it folds away, so you can just clip it in. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. So he's, he's got like piston parts. Again, Sven will have to do photos, yeah. yeah. He's got piston parts for the knee. That again, he's on multiple. I love the way these panels slide out the way when you move the figure. Yeah. Okay, it's a shame they don't slide back, but that would be a level that's just be beyond. Articulation on the hip, the waist. Look how well they've done the lights. Mm -hmm. The paint job on, on these, the level of detail is absolutely phenomenal. I'm not sure why his hands on backwards. Has he had a hand swap? It's possible. I think Bumblebee was second hand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, his his right hand has uh, he's, he's got a there. You, go. Have you got a closed fist or a more closed hand? Um, what's, what's that? I just want to keep it in tone with the yeah. Okay, so moving the head, the the hands is really easy. Does the head come off? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's not meant to. Um, That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. I was, I was trying to be funny. Again, with the detailing just being. Oh, that's the switch to turn the lights on for the. Oh. oh man, you know what, I am genuinely enjoying this, which, which makes me worry, so I'm going to ask this next question before I really get into it with, with the, the Megatron. <sighs> How much are they using? Right, um, I don't know. The fact you're going right immediately, <laughs> a smidge, can... let, let me just bend these back. And then you tell me. Do you remember the um, do you remember the one event we were at down in London? And I said, I've seen this prime at really, that really like. Yes, that was... The one that was 200 and something, yeah. Okay, so I know why these are really, oh, really, nice. really nice. As I said, they're the equivalent of hot toys. Oh man, this is gorgeous. No, I mean, don't get me wrong, if I liked Transformers, <laughs> whoo, I would want these in my collection. There'd, there'd be no doubt, actually, if I liked Transformers, these would be in my collection. The, these are just, the, the build quality's nice, yep. the paint is phenomenal. If you just want the robots. If you just want it as a robot statue. Yep, totally. And, okay, Sven, you're not going to like this, because I know Prime is your, but... This is a better, this is a better toy. But yeah, I, we can't really call it, yeah we can, we can call it a toy. This is a better figure than that one is. For realism to the film to the best of my remembrance. remembrance. Yeah. I don't remember Prime being quite that dirty. Depends on whether he's been beaten up at the time or not. <laughs> very, very true. is a bit stiff. I'm not going to push it too much for obvious reasons. That's what she said. Let's, let's have a gander at his other head, shall we? Really dislike this version. <laughs> the wasp mode. Yeah. There's actually a, a green repaint of Bumblebee in some versions of Transformers called Wasp. And ends up becoming and ends up getting turned to Waspinator. That would make sense. Oh, 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 oh god, I wish you hadn't seen it. Now I've just got that voice in my head. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I know why everybody hates Waspinator. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what they did there. 
that was that the other hand for the it's the hand holding yeah. the weapon that's that's one way of getting around it. Well, I'm not going to fiddle with that too much because okay. I'm damage it. But yeah, this so, basically. So goes. let's let's just go with this one's also absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, do you want to put him on his stand so that? Oh yeah. no, sorry. Put those back in. Yeah. Oh, I should be in the far one. Okay, so. Do you want me to find the ass plate? Yeah, you're, you're far better at doing the anal than me. Um. Actually, look at the instructions. I'm not 100% sure he's an ass plate kind of character. Oh, no, he is. He's an ass plate character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's too high up. <laughs> The lowest it goes, I think no, it no, needs to be folded, no, yeah. yeah. But that needs to come out and, then, yeah. and be put back yeah, on. That, hang on, let's. Because this doesn't move as such, you have to basically. You have to un untake it. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, God, what a horrible way of doing it. Yeah. Mind you, saying that, it stops there being any degradation. Is that as low as that thing goes? Okay, I'll put the catch back onto the thing. He still flies. Yeah. He's the amazing bumblebee. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Okay. He's only supposed to be the action stand, so when he's doing so he's bow, like so. high kick. Come on then, show me the one that's going to upset me. Blitzwing. Blitzwing. Yes. What? Did you see Megatron at any point in this film? Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> no. Oh, I was so deceptive on packaging and immediately went Megatron. It's not Megatron, is it? No. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be disappointed at it. Because it's. it's funny. I'm not Starscream, honest, Governor. You know what? The box is still better than it was for Prime. Okay. Let's have a gander. Okay, so the uh, the makers of this toy company basically had a, a shed load of Gundam figures <laughs> left over and went, okay, if we throw in some transformer ones, we can get away with this. Do you want to uh, open that one up? Because that's what it looks like. You can't, you, you, call me out, tell me I'm wrong. I don't know, I haven't looked at it yet. You didn't look at the clan at any point. Well, there we go. Let's win. Okay. It's really um, Star Scream, but because they killed him, let's not. I was about to say, I don't really. Need, I, I remember it, but I don't. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's really weird because the Prime was very heavy. Yeah. The Bumblebee is heavy but small and dense. This is the lightest of them. The plastic does not feel the same quality as the other two. Hmm. I'm not sure. If that's because it isn't the same quality, or is it just they've had to give it a different sheen? The oh, wheels machine. turn. What a pointless affectation. <laughs> okay. So, again, just marvellous. Yeah, and on the knee. Double knees, yeah. Yeah. Cleverer on the bumblebee, but still. But that was just because they had the piston on yeah. like that. The hip as well, yeah. Um, I don't think this one does. No. A little bit. A little bit, not major. Who? The arm articulation is better in this, though. But I think that's due to the design of the, the thing yeah, rather than. No. I hate the faceplate on this, but that's because yeah. that that is the right faceplate. I'm not. I'm just saying that I dislike the. Because the thing is, they for the villains. They make them sharp and ugly and very... It's, it's, it's like the hands. Um, the hands with these are very sort of spingly and sharp. And you compare Spiky. them... Yeah, and you compare them to like Prime and Bumblebee. They're it's rounded rounded. and friendly yeah. and... That, I'll be honest, that annoys me. Hmm. Because they're from the same damn planet. Or supposed to be. They were so, weren't they all originally the same race before the 
Do so, most versions, yeah. So that sort of affectation between the two, I don't like. Change the badge, give them a different insignia, paint them different, fine. But yeah. don't physically change the characteristics to make something look evil. Yeah. Because that's a construct anyway. We decided that, oh, that type of look is suddenly yeah. evil. Um, this reminds me far more of a Gundam figure than it does a, a Transformer. But you know what? Yeah. Um, I love the way they did that so that you don't crease it. Ah, oh. <laughs> wow, they really have just gone all out with these. Right. Considering that Transformers are doing transforming engineering is, is, is awesome. Yeah, the articulation um, points are beautiful and yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's see there, right? Because we've got this backpack with the wings. Okay. The backpack comes separately from the wings, so I'll just pop those together. Right. Okay, that goes on the back, which I'm trying to do as gently as I can. <laughs> so, um, tell me a little bit about 3A, because I, I, I don't know them. I, I mean, the only thing I know them for is that they did um, a 2014 Robocop figure, which we've got to review at some point. Okay, Yo, yeah, you know, I'm always up for um, Robocop. So that's going to come with the original Robocop from Hot Toys, so we can compare them. And actually, actually, on a side note, Hot Toys. Yeah. We did a review and weren't wasn't that prime round about the same price or a bit more expensive than this? A little bit more expensive, yeah. And it had bits of star screen to put on it. And he looked at the, the, the bit yeah, didn't he have a head? Yeah, it was so star it could hold could yeah. Oh, that's poor star screen when you Yeah. Um but I seem to have in my head that they were crap and very expensive. It, well, I mean the look of the prime just didn't make sense to me because he looked nasty. Okay. It looked like he was in, almost enjoying dismembering Starscream, which doesn't fit. No, it doesn't fit the character. In any way, shape or form. Um, let's see what else we can do. Now, this is another thing that drives me nuts about this particular character. This is referred to as a Null Ray. That's Starscream's weapon. At no point did Blitzwing have a Null Ray. So it's clearly what's happened here. It was designed to be Starscream and then realised he's going to die in the film. Let's not yeah, kill don't Starscream. kill, don't kill don't Starscream. Starscream. You need Starscream. Yeah. So, um, medic, uh, medic, <laughs> script writer, <laughs> script writer. <clears throat>
Okay, so I think they're in scale. Uh, if not, they look pretty damn close. Yeah. The level of detailing on I'm going to concentrate on these two because I know incarnations of these two yeah. way better than I know incarnations of that one. Yeah. So, top notch, top notch. I don't know, but it's a really detailed figure, so I'm going to assume it's on a par with. Give me your voice. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're ridiculously well done. Okay. Alright, so, normally I don't score Transformers because I got out of doing that crap because I didn't mm. know what they were, but. For this film and these, I will, and I'm giving 10, 10, and as far as I know, a 10. Yeah. 
Fair and enough. I'm saying that as far as I know because I, I, it's been a long time since I saw it and I'm a little bit fuzzy on some of the details but I seem to think that with these two's level of detail yeah. they're not going to have skimped on that one. No. So are there any more for this set? Um, I certainly know there's at least one more which is Ravage and Soundwave. Right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it makes sense. Um, which is, with every image I've seen of that, it looks absolutely stunning. Okay. Um, very much matches his look in the beginning of the film. Of course, he was only in there for a little while. Mm. Um, but, I but they know Samway's going to sell. What? Well, I don't know who else they're doing from the film, or indeed they have done. I, I would have to say, see, I was going to say the price point brings it down from being a 10 to, to like a 9, but they're not as expensive as Hot Toys. And well, better. Actually, that, that wasn't where I was going to go. I was going to go with... The, I can't think how you could improve them. And that cost is probably indicative of the amount of detail. So yeah. they probably do hold us a 10. But now you've reminded me about the Hot Toys again. Yeah. Yeah. No, these are hands down. Yeah. I mean, I must admit, with the Hot Toys Prime, it was slightly bigger. It came with more parts. But it just the level of detail. The level of detail this. wasn't there. But it was that it was based on the animated version of Optimus, so there was never going to be detail on it. I, d I don't think I scored that one, did I? I don't yeah, think you did. No, I wasn't don't. impressed yeah. with it. Well, I am impressed with this. Very impressed with this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go okay because I don't really yeah. Remember. Yeah. Okay, well, that was an incredibly articulate and well-formed and non-biased opinion in any way, shape or form review of these three 3A action figures, deluxe action figures. figures but, yeah. I mean, yeah. I must admit, that Prime is very, very tempting, even though it doesn't transform. Mm. It'd be great just having the cavity, just for the posability. You yeah. can't knock the posability. Just, just out of curiosity, what does a masterpiece go for these days? A lot more than this. Current Masterpiece Prime yeah. works out about £400. Yeah, I can see these being popular. Yeah, and the current Masterpiece Prime is not very good from the way I've seen it. Okay. I haven't got one. It's not huge on my list okay. because it's very much the animated version of Optimus. Mm -hmm. well, okay, so uh, those are our opinions, but you know what? We'd love to read yours, so please leave them in the comment section below. And while you're on there, you should subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. Oh, while you're on Facebook, you should check out Geekology the group because that's where he's going to put all the nice high res images of the things we review. Yes. Um, and don't forget to check out our Patreon page, which, by the time you're watching this, may or may not have been converted into pounds. Uh, <laughs> I don't know when you're going to get to see this. Um, but there's a lot of change going on at Patreon right now, so um, we'll be redoing it in pound sterling, so it just matches up with us a little bit. What about for our American Oh, they'll, it'll translate into dollars for them. Okay, so they're going to end up with weird figures going, why is it 14 something? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so uh, as I said, thank you for watching and goodbye. Three, two, one. Dude, we're about to review Transformers. The only thing that's going to assist in this recording is a bottle of vodka. Mind you, the amount of fucking hand sanitizer I've been using, I might just sweep out. Three. I wouldn't worry. It's already osmosising through your bleeding hands into your bloodstream and de destructing your bleeding brain. And get another bleeding in there. Like, yeah. What were you doing? You did like the PG bleed does. Leave it in. Bloody hell. Fuck you. So, right, we just found out yeah. we're going into lockdown so we don't get to see each other for fuck knows how long again. Yay! On the plus side, on the plus side, no more chance on! <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, not, 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 not that this is going to put a dent in your Doctor Who plans. <laughs> I, am, I am not. I am not doing them by a Zoom meeting. Okay? No, 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 no. Not I stand. No those things. No, no. We're just going to have the moment we've got some clearance. We need to get a load in the can. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of that tonight, just to get it out of our system oh, for the next six weeks, just in case. Dude, I don't want to know what you've got to get out of your system. There are transformers on the table in front of me that look expensive. I know what you do. <clears throat> so, I have to admit, I don't want to know. Whoa, 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 no, no, I do not want to the rest of that statement. Whatever it is, I do not want to know. We're making your editing here real fuck, you know that. No, it's, it's a, a big job, I can just cut off. behind you, so. Should they should be against the uh... Hello clipperboard, my old friend. That's far too far down. <laughs> oh, <I'm used> to... <laughs> Hello doctors, my old friend. I've come to haunt you once again. Oh yeah. I remember getting this thinking this is gonna save so much time. <laughs> <laughs> Just make life harder. <laughs> Fuck off! No! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I remember that! I remember that! It was quite funny, that lasted, what, one episode? <laughs> but uh, it's still in bloopers. What, um, what, am I, what am I actually saying about these? Um, Transformer... Yeah, 3A Transformer action figures, Tr basically. Okay, so premium so action figures. Okay. Transformer 3A premium action figures. Yeah. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Hi, welcome to Two Old Gits Get a Life. I'm David. I'm Sven. And this is Bill Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get sued. Three. God, I look like shit. Not Don't. Like convert. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what? I'll, I'll admit, I, I am not wearing a badge. Which is, is just wrong. I should definitely be wearing a badge. Oh, fuck. Not thing to move that. Come to him, fucking video wanking bomb bag. 